Welcome into the recap of another White Sox loss. This one, you're not going to believe how it went down. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Folks, 12 months ago today, we started this recap channel. It's been one year. We're over 92,000 subscribers. Crazy growth because of you. And I want to thank you for your support, for subscribing, for hitting the notification, for your likes and your comments and your participation. You are an amazing fan base, and I greatly appreciate you. Bigger and better things to come here on the Recap Channel. Okay, here's what happened in the game. Saturday night, maybe you're out to dinner with your family, your wife, or you're out having some fun. Maybe you're at work. The White Sox had a 3-0 lead going to the seventh inning. 3 nothing, And Lancelin had a no-hitter. He took the mound in the seventh with a no-hitter. The Rays scored 10 runs in the inning. For only the second time since at least 1974, baseball records don't go any farther back in this category, only the second time since at least 1974, a team has gone into the seventh being no hit against them and scored 10 runs. It is literally surreal what we're watching. I've never seen anything like it. I'm not one who believes teams should fire someone just to fire someone, but something's got to change. This bullshit is just a joke. It is one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. It's a lousy ball club. It's a bullpen that's awful. They removed Lance Lynn when the game got to 3-2. to two. Aaron Bummer was horrifically bad. The bullpen just imploded. And 12-3, the final, they got a couple late solo home runs to raise uh, to tack on. The White Sox only got three runs. But what we're watching is a joke. And then the first at bat for Luis Robert, he hit a ground ball. If he hustles, he beats it out. Or it's close. He jogged all the way to first base. Steve Stone said, does it look like he's grimacing? Maybe he's hurt. He's removed from the game. No injury status is announced. They just say he was removed. Manager's decision is what the media is being told. Now, if we find out he's injured, different ball game. But he was in the dugout. He had a smile on his face. Didn't look like he was in agony to me. If he indeed dogged it down to first, he needs to be on the first plane to Charlotte tomorrow. You're in AAA. His performance has been nothing short of embarrassing. Go check out his on-base percentage. Look at his batting average. Look at his offensive productivity. I don't give a shit if he makes a couple of really good running catches by the wall. Who cares? If he dogged it, again, if he's hurt, different story. But it didn't look like it. He needs to be sent to AAA tomorrow. Maybe that'll wake his ass up. This club is dead in the water. They look awful. It's embarrassing. Head's got to roll. I don't believe in just firing people to fire people, but this roster is poorly constructed. The vibe around the whole club is awful, and the White Sox lose 12-3 after taking a no-hitter behind Lance Lynn into the top of the seventh inning. Have a great rest of your night. I appreciate you greatly. Take that.